what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the driveway and welcome back in our old friend the street tractor what are we working on today all right so roughly about a year ago power driven diesel these guys right here they put out a line pressure gauge for the transmission and i thought i really should have done it when i actually did the transmission work on this truck but I mean, with, without a doubt, this was a need. Because um, again, we've got that new upgraded valve body. We got that torque converter. We want to make sure that our line pressure is staying within spec. We're not burning the trans up. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. All right, so we have here the zero to 300 PSI transmission line gauge in white. So it's gonna definitely get our attention. And it comes with this AM seal harness and an MPT plug sensor. We've got this beautiful autometer gauge pod to go right on the steering column, right in front of us when we're going down this track or when we're going down the road. I think it's gonna be a great accessory. It's gonna fit that gauge perfectly. So we're gonna do what we always do, guys. Do the install, show you guys the ins and outs, anything that comes up that might be of a concern. And um, then we're going to go ahead and test it because it's how we have to do everything around here. So guys, stay tuned and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and remove the plug that's normally right here on the transmission. You have three different plugs, one there, one there, and then one all the way at the end here. These two are your test ports, but for what we're trying to do for the line pressure sensor, that's where we're going to put it, right there in the center. So go ahead and uh, remove the plug and go ahead and install the sensor. All right, now the guys are power driven. Now they have supplied ample harness to go ahead and run it all the way down to the sensor, back up across the transmission, and back into the boot. All right, now that we got a little bit better lighting, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So I ran the harness down, excuse the mess here, um, basically down the bell housing to the sensor and then routed it right under here cable tied it and then ran it right into the uh the boot right here which has all my other fun stuff right here now, if you guys can see that pretty much right in that area up there the uh the boot runs through here and then you run it away from your pedals obviously and then you can run it up your steering column up to your temporarily mounted autometer gauge all right now powering this guy you've got a three wire connector and you have red being your switched voltage ground obviously and white if you want to power the needle um, as basically as a dimmer for the backlight and that's pretty pretty easy switch setup if you want to you can take the red and the white put them together find a fusible link put it somewhere in your fuse panel or back under the hood and you can take a gr the ground and you can pretty much ground it to the studs right there. This is all a good grounding area right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish wiring this up and then I'll show you guys how to fully mount the altimeter gauge pod. And then we're gonna go ahead and test it. Let's see what the trans line pressure is. Let's see how this new valve body and converter set up. If we're really putting the line pressure out, that BD diesel says it does. All right, so if you look in the back here of the gauge, you'll see that there are three connection points. One's blocked off. So the one that's gonna run your power harness, this guy right here, goes into the furthest right and then the main data harness from the sensor is going right into the center port right there now if you get it wired up properly um it does have a backlight to it and it actually matches the factory second gen uh dash display it is green it's kind of bright out here right now really kind of hard to see but i'll go ahead and show you guys real quick once you get it powered all right up. so excuse the annoying buzzer in the background but if you can kind of tell there you go it's got the green tint and orange that you expect to see, which again, if I try to, you can see right there, you have the same green and orange as the factory second gen. So it actually looks pretty similar. It's just obviously it's got a white backing versus the black backing from the factory second gen. I think that's a pretty clean little look right there though. What do you guys think? Okay, so your gauge pod setup, if you've purchased the same one, it does come with double-sided tape as well as some push pins. Now, 
What I end up doing, you take a 3 16th drill bit and you drill through the factory one as well as the autometer one and you put these little push pins in there. As you can tell right there, you just got to find somewhere it's got enough meat because again, this is very thin plastic. And in doing so, it looks fairly factory. The holes line up really well. All in all, I think it's a pretty nice look. All right, so just trying it real quick. So we're in neutral right now in the drive. So we're about 90, I guess it's about 90, 90 PSI line pressure. Back into neutral, drops down. Almost 100 there. Give us some throttle, get up to over 100. And so we're going to go for a little drive. spot right here where we got about a I would say about a half mile to a mile where we can go ahead and put this thing under load and see what we're doing guys that's the install there's your test um i would highly recommend this if you've done any significant trans work or even if you're stuck and you're just curious to really any issues with your transmission this will help you diagnose your transmission so if you got a plug filter or an issue with a pump um or anything with the valve body um you can tell right off the bat hey my line pressure's dropped down um i've got to look into what's going on so that and obviously the install of the autometer gauge all of the parts used today will be in the description below as usual and um do what you guys always do like share subscribe p pump the world and i'll see you guys in the next video